you welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Mega Aquarium where we're still working on these chuffin discus. Um, we still need one uh, patterned discus. So uh, fingers crossed something turns out we've upped the uh, amount of grass and stuff in there to make them breed quicker hopefully. Um, but in the meantime we've also got some freshwater species to go down and just increase our prestige rank in general. So we've nearly got our first one from the new uh, lot here. There's not many of them being freshwater actually. Thank you for the nitrate research. Let's go for the uh, sterilizer. Why not? There we go. Uh, so we've nearly got the Arapaima, 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 um, there we go, and we can also do a green anaconda, and we've got the American paddlefish as well, so um, we'll go for green anaconda first of all. So, um, the couple of things I want to do in this episode, one, I would like to um, start a gift shop, so we're going to have to repurpose some space over here for a gift shop, that's where I would like it to be. Uh, but then also we have to put down those other saltwater animals. So I think we're going to leave the Aztec one to be seawater, so we'll, we won't add them over here. One thing I did notice is, I think I did at one point say that I didn't. I was going to keep this as just an empty space, but it seems obvious to, to get a few tanks down here, right? So that's what I think we're going to go and do. So I'm going to pause the game for a second while I, uh, while I get my head around this, but I think if we just... If we just basically just open that space up there and then reattach the um, the wall. Oops. There we go. And maybe just for neatness' sake, let's uh, let's get rid of that. And I think we're gonna keep these to just be just simple wall tanks all the way down. Nice and easy, nice and simple. Just does what we need it to do. Um, so we'll come down to our uh, dark paint, minimal is it? Yeah, there we go. So we'll put minimal paint all along there. And then, um, I'll be honest with you, I've kind of gone off the blue. I, 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 I don't, it didn't, it doesn't look like I wanted it to look, honestly. Um, the black is probably a little plain. Is there something in between like a metal one? Let's have a look. There's this sleek. Oh yeah, Sleek's nice, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. We'll use Sleek. Okay, so let's just check this isn't anything. Just some levels up, so that's good. Uh, Dante feeding. We need to put some more podiums around, by the way, and some more uh, information boards around as well. So I hopefully I remember to do that. So it's uh, fresh water. Um, let's just double check. We've got all of these in. I'm pretty sure we have. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go, eel. So there we go. So let's see what we need here. Then they love they love floating cover, quite a bit of it, in fact. Um, they do good numbers. They they get big these ones. Okay. Because um, the other option we've got is putting them in with something like these, but I I find it so tricky to to sort of back back follow them. So temperature wise, that's fine. They need, some of them need some space, electric eels. See, they're already in with the electric eels, so that, but, I mean, they're in the same group, sorry, oh, oddball group, so. These, like, can't be housed with other electric eels, that's fine. So, you're greedy, you're armoured, you require acidic water. Animals four to nine, or up to 36 when fully grown. See, that, that's going to be your issue there, because they're only 12. And they're only 24, yeah. So I think otherwise they would have gone in with that, but I, I, I'm i pretty sure that's going to be a big old fishy just on its own. So we'll just give it a big deep water tank um, like that, I think. I feel like one of these on their own. You often get that, though, at, um, at aquariums, right? Just the, just the big... Big fish dude just hanging out on his own, and that's what we're gonna do here. So let's get a sleek look on that. There we go, it's already done, I think. And then we'll move it into place. No, I won't. I've got enough of that out of the way. There we go. So this is gonna be it. Let's let's put the fish in first, and then we'll work from there. So there we go. The area. Hey, mercy. That it's gonna be a big fish, that. But I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna have the one in there. Um, to keep things simple. So, let's get somewhere to feed it. 
open up there. That's good. And it eats. Um, I think that is that orange pellets. Whoops, where did it go? A roach. Okay. You can totally get a roach dispenser there. There we go. Uh, right, a lot of rock and a lot of floaty leaves. But apart from that, not so much stuff really. I think probably a large combi will do for both heating and filtering. Well, not quite hot enough. So we'll stick a large heater on there as well. Filtration wise, it's fine. Uh, acidity is going to be a uh, large one, I think. Yeah, 112. So a large one of those will just about do it. Um, and then we need some uh, cavey stuff. So that gaping cavern provides 30 caves. If we can fit that in there, that's. It looks the part, doesn't it? Look at that. Yeah, big old fish. Big old cave for a big old fish. And the only thing we need is... Ah, does it, it needs a 3x3 three three space as well, doesn't it? Um, I think. It needs a 3x3 three three space and 9 floating ones. So this might be a little tricky to do in this in this case. But this one does... Oh, that floating cover 15. So that is actually enough. Um, floating cover 2. Floating cover five, so we can have two of those, but I think they're two by two, so they're, I'm not going to be able to do a three by three space. Oh, I still might not be able to do a three by three space. Oh, wow, okay. Um, so the options are going to be we need to get ten of these in. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry, we need to get five of those in. Which we can do. I mean, it might look a little silly. But, I, I mean, that's what that's what it needs. <laughs> um, let me just bring this up here. How about we... No, we can't move. I was going to say we move those three over to here, but we can't because it's, it's connected onto that one. I mean, technically, it's fine. I, I'm, not, I'm not happy about how it looks, but without building a bigger tank. Um, and that must be must be connected to a tank. Okay, so uh, go on. Let's let's do it nicely. That's because that's why we're here, right? Nice looking builds. We can. Oh, I think I'd already gone to about as big as it was anyway. I have gone to about as big as it was. My God, this fish. Uh, well, we'll have to go with that then. I thought. Oh, I suppose we could give it smaller caves. That might give us a, a more of a, a playful um, option. Let's let's try uh, let's try that. So we need one of those, uh, a heater, and a, a nitrate. Uh, sorry, a RO machine. There we go. So numbers wise, that's what you need. So you only need eleven cave. And to be fair, I was giving it thirty. So let's have a look. Like the slate cave there. See the pitted column. There we go. Much smaller. Yeah, it still looks fine. I'll take it. Um, I'd rather those. I would really like to be able to do that big giant water lily, but I st I'm still not going to get a three by three space if I put those in. That's such a shame. We're going to have to do a huge tank to get some of those in there. Um, these give five. But again, oh, so we can have a one, two. Right. So if we put those. There and there. That's better, isn't it? That looks more natural. He's still got a three by three space, and we can even stick something else here down at the front. We can just put a few bits of rubble in or something. There we go. And you've still got a nice open space. Yeah, that's perfect. So you've got some roach stuff coming in. I think I don't really like about it is the inside of the sleek. I like the front of it. I think it looks smart. I'm not too sure about the inside of it. What does the, what does the um, what does the minimal one look like? Maybe, maybe we just go minimal in here. Just keep the dark areas. It is nice, isn't it? Okay, so that's one fish, uh, which suggests to me that it's better having a. Is it, oh, I can't remember which one it is. Depending on number of different species. Yes, yeah, so a science poster for this one. Number of different. Uh, requirements because it doesn't have mega requirements but uh, I just realized we haven't got a door into this area 
It's definitely got more requirements than it has different species because it is a single species in there. There we go. Okay. And we'll just neaten that up there. There we go. All right. So that'll get fed now. That's the Ariapamama, or whatever it was called. Okay. Discus spawn has grown to discus. It wasn't a colored one. So bye-bye, discus. There we go. Uh, oh, you're still a bit too happy. Well, we're going to get rid of the yellow one as well, then. There we go. Okay. Cuttlefish has grown. Cuttlefish has grown. Turbots could not grow up as too many of you in there. Okay, so we'll clear one of you out. There we go. And that was the other one. Somebody leveling up. Mako. Good job, Mako. All right. So there's... Um, there's our first new fish. Like I say, nothing. It's a gorgeous fish. Nice big old fishy. Look at that. Whoa. Print screen that there. That's your thumbnail right there. So we've got a big old fish in there. That's good. Not doing loads for prestige. So while we're still waiting for other fish to come out, let's make sure that we're really milking the prestige of uh, everything else. The filtration is not good here. Let's see what we can do about that. One of those will do fine. Uh, what are you? Hatchings of Dickus Fry. Okay, nice. Right, I'm going to pause the game for a minute just so we can keep an eye on this because we're going to have to really go through this now because this is creating prestige. So we're going to have one of these for that. Okay, and then here, we've only really got one creature in here as well. This is turtles, right? So. So you're worth going on there as well. That's going to help with prestige. Okay, this big tank here doesn't seem to have one on it. Um, what's this got in it? This is probably, it's got one, two, three. It's got four different fish in it. So I think we're probably better putting a nature one on there. Ecology, that's the word. Uh, we can't put it on the raised areas, annoyingly. And obviously putting it there is going to mess up with uh, the layer of the... Um, the stairs so fine I guess we don't worry about that so this one here is going to that large tank these little tanks don't have one but really should so let's um, let's make a space for those so if we move this over to here and this over to here could have just moved all that around with the door as well but never mind uh, we'll put a staff door in no not there sorry oops well, let's see if we can move it then nope not you the door. Thanks. There. And you have got uh, rust paint on you by looks things. Yep. So there, that gives us a two square across now. And I'm pretty sure the only thing in here is a one fish, right? A, just an angel fish just sat on its own. Like, great. So that's going to be a science poster as well. Because it's certainly got more requirements being like six or seven there than it has species of fish but uh, to be honest most of them are going to have more requirements than species of fish but i but i want to mix them up so they're not all just science posters so you go in there there's one going to there uh this one doesn't seem to have one but most definitely should so what's in here just some plecos plecostomus to use their full loom i think and we'll do it. We'll, we'll set it back a little bit there into so the space around it. That looks cool. You've got see, like I've done there. I like that where it's actually facing backwards. I might, I might do that. Um, yeah, that's cool. So you've got one. 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 So this little fellow here doesn't have one. So what if I just shut off there? Oh, there we go. So you can have one now, and I'm, I'm pretty sure you're just a, a single fish as well, right? Oh, you're the little Tetras. So yeah, you're, you're probably better having a science poster as well. Okay. Uh, can't really figure out a way to... I mean, we could just, like, fluff it and put one down here, but I, I don't want to do that. So there's got one. Uh, discus. One Discus has got one. Is that it? Right, okay. So Discus aplenty. Disc is a go-go. Here we go. You get some there. Uh, we'll do an ecology one over on this side. To there. We'll do a science one. The science ones are definitely better for these because um, it's like exclusively 
single fish in here, but there we go. We'll put a few collagen ones to mix them up. Uh, this one has one. Is that not linked anywhere? That needs to go to there. Okay, so this one I think has just got the piranhas in. Why are the piranhas not happy? Oh, you want one more piranha? Okay. Can we buy piranhas? Salt water? I'm not sure we can. I think weren't they a weren't they a quest or something? Oh no. That's a shame because they they won't mate, will they? If they're not happy, they won't mate. At least one requirement is not being fulfilled. Oh, that's a shame. So, apparatus are always going to be unhappy. Well, that sucks. Unless there's a way of getting coming up with more of them, but I don't, I'm not sure there is. Well, we will compensate their lack of loveliness by giving them a board, at least. Okay. Uh, so, down here, big one's got a one there. Ecology, that one's got one. These, uh, two of these have got them. Have we got anything in that yet? Yes, that's a dotty back. That's a nice little mix in there. So that's going to there, I hope. Yeah, and you're going to there. Okay, so this one just needs one. So you can have a science poster. Just going to tell you all about the single little dotty back. Okay. So I think that is pretty much all of them now. Getting those. I've just noticed a dirty toilet. So I'm going to hire some more staff. We have far too much cash. So we might as well just get them in and get them doing stuff. Um... Okay, hopefully that's helped with some of the prestige. Uh, we can also look at doing some more podium talks. We have one going on here, which gives us a nice little boost. But, I mean, really, there's definitely space, I feel, for more. There's one here. Next talk is later today. Can we just do one that's just prestige? No, it's only... Basic kind of info. What does I mean? What does that generate? Butterfly ram. Why can't you talk about turtles? The turtles are right there. Oh, there we go. Turtle talk. I'm saying that's what you want to be talking about. Let's try a few more of these then around the place. Let's do a discus talk. Would be good, seeing as we've got the whole area here for discus. To discuss discus, they can come in here and they can discuss discus. Womp 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 womp. That's the best joke of the video, folks. Um, I don't want to do it here. This big old one here could definitely do with the talk. I'll we'll get them to stand over here. There we go. Because they very often don't need to stand right by the tank, right? As long as they can uh, project. They'll have little speakers on them or whatever. I want to run right down the front here saying welcome to the show type thing. You know, come on in, come on in. Don't be shy. Um... These little fellows look like they could have a talk about them. Oh, it's right opposite that one. Never mind. Uh, so next thing we need to do is put down some of the uh, speaker, the headsets that they need. Where will I find those? Are they in here? Yeah, here we go. Mic headset. So let's find some spots where these can go. So we have one there. Where else did we put one of those podiums just then? We put one over here. So where's a good spot for the... Oh, nice. There's the snake and there's the paddlefish. Okay. Oh, down here we could definitely squeeze one of these in. For that one. Uh, we put one over here. I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, it's here, right? I was going to say, where's the backdrop for this one? So we can have one of those right there. That's fine. For that one. And Discus needs one as well. So there's the podium and there's the entrance for Discus. So uh, uh, there we go. What about on the back of that there? It makes that look a bit more, makes more sense. There we go. That's that one there. And then here, talk is ongoing at the moment. So let's have a look. See, it's mostly people gaining science, isn't it? They're not. The toilets are gaining prestige. <laughs> they need a clean, but people are on the way to do it. Yeah, it's just science points annoyingly. That's it's a bit irritating. Let's see, is there anything we can do? Discus fry, discus talk. Yeah. Discus talk, I guess, is the one to do. There, here, we can talk about... Uh, oh, there we go. Right, so some of them... Smooth hound talk, 14 prestige. So some of the ones that have got maybe sort of more exotic fish in 
we can do she's already chatting i didn't give you anything to talk about you're just doing basic aquarium info that's no good rainbow oh basic aquarium info is prestige by the looks of things maybe not as much because it's prestige is all we're really interested in right now so seeing as none of those are um stars let's so what this task can't be completed because there is no sponge left ah okay it's probably not just put not enough of them down i guess sponge sink well here we go one can go there let's make sure there's one by all of the toilets so where else are there toilets here so we'll make sure there's a sponge there uh, and there's some over in this corner as well there that's good so what we can do here is actually make a new a new staff area here new, or new staff entrance bit you know there we go um, we'll pop some uh, oh, nice that went quick that's all them science talks we've just been doing uh, we'll do some sleep minimal paint boom there we go okay so what's this telling us then okay oh bro crocodile fry that's good tanks yeah good yeah okay let's get them all a bit better at cleaning so clean seems to be a bit of a problem okay uh right so that's hopefully helped a bit with prestige it doesn't i mean it's going to be difficult to tell really as to whether or not those numbers really start going up the only thing we can do i guess is start with that other new fish so and that'll give us the if we can get those done if we can get those 29 fresh waters done uh, uh, today i'll be happy with that because that's something we can you know actually physically work towards so green uh discus okay anything good no bye bye and you're just fry okay um so let's have a look at you green anaconda do you need land or are you just a water fish a water fish a water snake oh yeah there we go occupies land this land occupies 13 percent of the land of the tank's land capacity so we need a we need a regular old uh, landy tank here for these. So we can do small beach tank gives us five. Medium beach tank gives us 12. Oh, so we can't have a, one of those on there. Am I reading that right? This, this animal occupies 13% of the tank's land capacity. As this animal spends half its time out of water, it takes up half the normal amount of uh, space in the tank right okay so it doesn't and it grows as well which means that number's going to grow right so that tank that we're researching now island beach tank 24 i mean that that's like the only one that will take a snake which is pretty insane so we're just gonna have to let that get on with it let's hope this one that's about to uh um un unravel itself the american paddlefish is a little easier so green turtle that's cool um we've got that's all the that's all the uh freshwater ones so we, we're just going for our own fun now to really help out with the prestige so feeding all right so let's have another look at that one that we just unlocked that paddlefish uh here we go american paddlefish so needs a four by four space it's river uh, it's an active swimmer. Uh, it requires neutral water. So, yeah, we're going to have to put this one in its own space. So, this needs a decent sized tank. It needs a rounded tank. My goodness, these things, man. American paddlefish. We haven't got a tank that this can go in because our, our big rounded tank for fresh waters is here. And it's, uh, it's acidic. So, that's no good. That's a salt water one. So, I don't believe there are really enough fish to warrant going in with this one i think there's anything else that requires a rounded tank and neutral water or even there's not many that require neutral water full stop I mean, that one does there the catfish and these requires three by three so you know we could have a more catfish in there um paco there we go all right well i'll tell you what let's do let's have a look at how big that one is and we'll do the snake first so uh island beach tank jeez 
it's a big un. I mean, we can we could you know. What could we do? <laughs> um, we should put that down just for a snake. It's ridiculous. I mean, the other option is to kind of have it over here, maybe as part of the Aztec area. Ugh. I can't believe I'm putting that down for a snake. I mean, the other thing is this is this space here is where we're putting island. Can it go much bigger? It can go one bigger. Like that. That's how big we want it. So it's like the same size as that. Yeah, maybe maybe there then. Or maybe maybe even like this. Like this. And we and we spread this area out. Maybe maybe that's the way to go. Discus just oh spotted no we've already got spotted boo boo we don't want spotted we want some other cool pattern I don't know uh, all right yeah let's do that then so let's pause the game because this is going to be a big bit of a big upgrade so we're going to open that area up there we're going to get rid of that that and that and we're going to get rid of that that and that I think yeah okay. And then we're going to pull the wall out this way and this way, maybe just two. And then we're going to put in an island beach tank uh, here. Oh no, it's got to go there, hasn't it? There. So the actual background itself doesn't get any, any smaller, which is a bit annoying, uh, bigger or smaller, because what I would like it to do is line up with that a little nicer, but it doesn't, so whatevs. Let's do it. Oh man, how are we going to do this? It's going to have to go even further out, isn't it? Because we're going to have to have some space for the filters and stuff behind it. Have to go to at least there. Right, tell you what we'll do. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll run that down to there and that across there. And we'll actually have the filtration stuff for this one here. And this can just be the uh, the feeding spot. All right. So, oh, this one's complicated. Let's put a staff door in uh, there, there, and... And I actually can't put one on the other side because I was trying to be clever with the spacing. But there and there is okay. And then we'll do the floor pattern. Uh, is it just blue paint we've got down here? Or no, it's not quite blue, is it? It must be sleek. Yeah, sleek paint there and there. Uh huh. Um, minimal. Minimal all around there, and all this as well will be minimal. And we can even sneak a cheeky little uh, thing down here with a couple of fishing or something, right? So let's go. Oh no, staff door there. Look. Uh, um, okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. A little snug, but that's fine. Uh, okay, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. I mean, we'd better be able to put a couple of these things in. Let's have a look. Oh, man. Cannot be housed with green anaconda. That's it's insane. It's got one. I mean, it's, it's... Is it big? Where is it? I can't believe this whole space is needed for a snake. It's the... It is almost the biggest tank. I mean, this one's pretty big here. Oh, no, that's two separate ones. It looked like one then. Um, I think it might be, maybe apart from that big one there. I just I, have I just read it wrong or what? Thirteen out of twenty-four. Now look at that. Wowzer. Okay, well, we'll get a uh, a large power pump here. I'm using a power pump so that we've got more space to work from. Despite we us only really needing it for one tank, although we might. Let's let's move this here with a view to maybe maybe running something else off it here. Uh, okay, let's start with a large combo and see where that puts us. So filter wise, that's fine. It's just not hot enough. So we're getting a mega heater on there as well. Plenty. 
Right, so we need six floating uh, things. I can, we could put some, we can actually, no, we can't. I was gonna say, we can have some of these, but we can't, they don't fit. Okay, uh, tiger lily fits. What was the other one? Floating lettuce, maybe that's a bit more suitable for here. There we go, plenty of that. What else do you want? Is that it? Roach. I'll put some roach food down over here so we know we've got it. I just, I can't believe it needs that much space. Now, here's a cool thing. Can we put, um, can we put one of these up on the top? Oh, it's such a shame. That would look so good up there. It just has to be an open platform, does it? Can we, can we even put, can't even put plants up there either. That's a shame. I'm going to put some of this stuff down anyway because, you know, the big empty tank otherwise. <laughs> there we go. Okay, right, so next up, let's corner that off. We could always put a little tank there as well. Plenty of space for little floors. So rivet, yeah, okay, so we'll do rivet around here, along there, along there. And then we'll do minimal there and there, and then minimal all of this and all the edge here. Okay, uh, staff door over this side for that thing. And I feel like, despite the incredible amount of space it needs, I feel like that's it. There's people heading over already, that's cool. Is it making sexy prestige? It is making sexy prestige, that's cool. Um, okay, let's get some stuff over here for people as well then, because it's been a little while. If they're coming this way, and mind you, they've got drinks and everything there actually, so maybe not. Maybe just some benches and uh, and some other things. Well, I'll tell you what then, let's do, I know we've really spread over this way and oh, that wasn't really the plan, but let's do something like this and create a little uh, uh, bench, bench spot you can sit here and you will sit here and you will watch the snake. Because the snake has the biggest tank in the whole place. Okay. There we go. You watch that snake. I don't like that as a backdrop. Maybe we just go random and put like a nice painting on it. Yeah, why not? Uh, okay. Okay. Now we can't put that last saltwater fish in this box here. That isn't going to work. When there's no small tank that would fit there and make that saltwater fish happy. So instead, do we just start littering in seawater fish? Is that is that what we're gonna do? Some saltwater fish now? There's, there's plenty we haven't put in. Blue and yellow grouper. Uh, there isn't plenty we haven't put in. There's hardly any actually. Right, okay, lump sucker. Lump sucker. Dislikes food competitors. Can't be housed with other species that eat mussels, but can be housed with other lump suckers. We'll eat little things. So as long as you don't eat mussels and you're cold water. What was the other one we hadn't done? There's one up here. Start now. Where were you? That one there. Now you're you're warm. So what are you? Warm. Can't be housed with other groupers. So we can have one of you groupers and some horse jacks. Let's have a look. Uh, They want to be in threes? Okay. Uh, what are we doing here? Gale's leveled up. Good going, Gale. Waze, Legend, Rachel, smashing it. Discus is fry, and Ariapa Mama is grown up. Oh, nice. How big are you now? Oh, you're a big old fish. Cool. Uh, right. I think. Oh, I don't know what to do now. That's all the science. It's all the science. We don't know what to do. I, th I feel like we're going to have to go for saltwater fish for a little. So blue and yellow group, we can have one of them and they're red. Is it hot? Sorry. You're hot as well. You can't, you will pester wimps. Are you a wimp? You are not a wimp. So other than eating little things, how big are you? You're huge. And there needs to be three of you. You will eat little things. One to ten. Well, you're 10 to 24. Okay, I, I think I think these can go together. 
we can do three horse eye jacks and a blue and yellow grouper in a in a wall tank. Boom de boom. There's no reason. I don't think there's any reason, as far as the game is concerned, while why these two tanks can't share the uh, the pump, because despite the water would be mixed, like I I don't I don't think the game knows. Like I don't think the game warrants that as a thing. It does. Oh, does it? Let's put a fish in. No, it does. Okay, so in that case, I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, no, I'm not going to get rid of what's... Yeah, no, I'm going to have to get rid of what's on it, aren't I? Ah. Ah. Okay, let's put down a small pump. Because this, this didn't need anywhere near as much on it than I thought anyway. Oh, do you not reach? How about if I move you right close? Right close! There you go. Right, and you had a, a large combi, and I, and I reckon we could probably get away with just a, a large heater. Look, because it needs 68. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. The pumps themselves don't need to be accessed, so that's fine. And then I reckon there's enough room here to do what we need to do for this one. So, there we go. So, fish-wise then. Blue and yellow grouper, we can change that. Water, yeah, nice. So, blue grouper and the horse side jacks. Three of those. One, two, three. I mean, they are going to get bigger. It might not be a big enough tank, but at the moment, I feel like that's okay. And they don't, and they don't need a crazy amount of stuff either. I reckon a large combi is fine. Well, there's a bit more filtering. That's fine. Uh, salt water filter, what we got? A protein skimmer? How's that? Nice. So we need just random trees and some and some rock. So, uh, some cave even. Six caves, so a rocky overhang is enough. So that'll do. Womp. And just any three plants. Um, well, I mean, it would, it would be silly of us not to put some kelp in. Because... We love this stuff. Well, I love the stuff anyway. There we go. And I might even throw down a couple of the sea lettuces. Old school. Nice. There we go. And you eat sand eels and herring. Very manageable. Sand eel dispenser can go uh, there. And herring can go there. And I think otherwise... That is a happy little tank. Let's uh, let's paint it up minimal and stick a uh, science poster on it. Now I know we don't actually need the science. This is purely from a prestige point of view. There are more requirements for that tank uh, from a science point of view than there are from an ecology point of view, being different creatures. So there we go. Let's put a few new tanks in. Still waiting on that last discus, but there's other stuff to do, right? We still got to find space for that big old fish, and we still got to reach rank 12. And that's not even the end. Then we've got to work towards. I think it's a manatee, right? Wasn't that the end goal of this level? After everything, was it was was building for a manatee? Look at that. We're not even seeing that yet. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Until the next one, be good.